All right, we are back in the garage. Last video worked on the control on the rudder there. So now I need to finish up everything, get it connected all the way up to the pedals. You can see up there on the floorboard, I've got the, the rudder pedal control disconnected and everything. So we need to go in. First thing we'll do is take the top and the tank out so we can get to everything. We need to finish riveting in the pedal assembly and then we need to start hooking up the control rods and everything all the way to the back. Okay, I pulled the pedal assembly out to make sure I had everything like it should be. And it is, I had got that all ready to go, greased up everything. The uh, castle nut on the bottom with cotter pin. So it's ready to be installed. Uh, since that goes through that structural piece, structural angle here, everything else was type one. Those would be difficult to get the type one rivets in. So we'll put those in with the CCPQ 43 uh, stainless steel structural rivets. All right, we got that riveted in with the cherry rivets. Type two's up there. I put the bolt in right there, lock nut on the bottom. There's a washer goes in there. This assembly moves like it should. So we'll put that in its centered position. And I'll go back and finish this joint. That piece. And these joints I've got covered in another video, but we'll get that centered up and tightened down. Okay, that rod in there in the cockpit is fastened together permanently. Well, I left a left room we can adjust it if needed. Now we can put on this long rod that goes from here. Because that one's already got a rod end on it. That one goes from there to the back. We'll center everything up and figure out where we need to cut that off. Then we can build the insert and put a rod in there to go into the control horn there. We got a fresh new insert, hot out of the lathe. Put that in there, we'll drill the holes here and stagger four rivets in there to hold it in place. Okay, we've got the rivets in there and the rod end in. I'll put this back in the plane and see if we can get everything to line up. All right, we've got success. Got the bolt in there. Of course, I haven't got a nut on that. I adjusted everything. That'll have to come back out because we got to take this off and paint it. But we've got our first movable control surface. I've got all the other joints done like they would be finished there. Lock nutted, adjusted right, put a drop of Loctite on them. Everything's good. And it actually works right. Got the right amount of travel. Actually, just a little more than it's supposed to have. The 30 degrees it mentioned making some stops up here if the firewall didn't stop it in time make some little nylon stops to go on there so we'll do that at some point but yeah it moves moves nicely i didn't go into the video on building the rod in because i've got that in some other videos i'll put a link to that up in the description they're pretty easy to make if you have a lathe. so right now i'm going to keep this video nice and short and simple Next video, we will be building the rod to go from here down to the tail wheel so we can control it too. Once that's built, this is drilled and bolted up. We can paint all that and finish riveting on the bottom. All right, till the next video. Thanks for watching.